welcome to my DIY channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a ribbon to your Christmas tree. Make it look so beautiful and high-end like a designer had done it. Yet, this is gonna be so easy. I'm gonna share all my tips and tricks with you for a beautiful, high-end designer looking tree. Are you ready? <laughs> if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because there's many creative ideas on the budget coming up and you don't wanna miss them, okay? Let's get started. We're gonna be using two ribbons today, but same technique could be applied only to one. The emerald green velvet ribbon lined gold in the back comes from Big Lads. And you thought it was designer ribbon, didn't you? They have a great value on ribbon this year. This 15 feet of ribbon is only $7.50. What a great value. Compatible ribbons on the website are $60, $70 per roll. And here's other color choices that they had, variety of styles. So this year I'm going with emerald green and gold champagne color kind of. This one's from Michaels and I decide to put one on top of the other, just like so, look at that. I'm so happy to find an affordable option to the beautiful designer ribbons I see on the websites. And this is what we're going to do. Measure about six inch tail, pinch, pass it to your other hand, measure 12 inches, pinch, and fold in half. That's a six inch loop. Hold it all together and measure 12 inches again, pinch and make a second loop. Pinch it all together, create like a nice simple bow at the top and tie it with a floral wire. I didn't realize right away that this ribbon is not wired, but because it has the beaded edge, it still holds up pretty well. Normally, I would recommend wired ribbon only. It makes life a lot easier. But this is one exception where it's okay. When it's nice beaded edge, it will still hold shape. And uh, the loops are only six inches. Uh, so when the loops get bigger without a wire ribbon, you know, it would be too flimsy. But in this case, as you can see, it's fine. Let's just fluff it up. And we have to finish the edge. Uh, you see, if it was wired, we could just roll it up and it would stay, right? Well, in this case, we have to use some hot glue. Look at that, a nice finished rolled up edging showcasing the golden lining. I think it looks so elegant, don't you? We are going to attach it at the top of our tree, right there underneath the topper, off to the right side. Just use that wire from the back of your bow to wrap around one of the pine tips. Velvet is on a heavy side, so do it a few times and then fluff it up and run the long tail down, tuck it in the tree, find two pine tips there, twist tie together, loosen it up, and then we are going to make one more run. Off to the side, and let's see, pinch it together, tuck it in the tree again, make sure it's nice and loose, one of the besties commented that this is like a roller coaster technique. And I love that. It really does remind me of a roller coaster. Fix it up and cut the ribbon. And I know it could be painful to some of you to cut that pretty ribbon, but it really gives you more control. So go ahead, leave about a six inch tail. And again, we're gonna finish off the edge with some hot glue. If your ribbon is wired, you just roll it up and it, it will stay like that without any glue. Mm -hmm. 
Nevertheless, this one extra step is well worth the effort in my opinion. Look at the beautiful finished look. I don't think anybody can tell this is on the budget, can you? And I love how the light reflects in the golden lining. You're going to really appreciate it when you look at your tree from different angles. The second run we will do slightly different. We measure a six inch tail, pinch it, pass it to your other hand, measure 12 inches, pinch it, fold it in half, excuse me, fix that up, and it's going to be just one loop, one tail. That's it. We are going to tie it together with a floral wire. And of course, we have to finish off that edge, roll it up. If you prefer, you can just cut at an angle or cut a fish tail, do whatever you like. But since I have that golden lining, I like to showcase it, okay? And let me just show you up close. I move that wire to the back of the bow, uh, fix it up, and we are going to attach it on the other side of our tree. We have the roller coaster going on one side, and we're going to attach the second one midway across from it. And again, use that wire to wrap around a few times around the pine tips and you can fix your bow as you wish. Like before, run that tail down, pinch it, pack it in a tree, find two pine tips to twist tie it to the tree, just like so. Make it nice and loose. And we are going to make one more run, loosen it up, and again, tack it in the tree. Look for two pine tips and twist tie it in there. Okay, and now you can cut it and finish off that edge. Okay, and it looks like all we have left is about 20 inches of ribbon. And I just want to show you uh, how I'm going to finish it off because we don't want any ribbon to go to waste. So we finish off uh, the edging and we are just going to uh, fold it in half and make a small loop. Uh, I think this is like <laughs> three, four inches only, but it's okay. We will tie it with a floral wire and add that piece somewhere later on in a tree. I'm sure we're going to find a hole in the tree that needs a little something. So this will be a perfect addition there, okay? Okay, so we will save this for later. In the meantime, let's start a new row. I just finished the edge and we are going to measure again a six inch tail. Pass it to your other hand. And we are going to make a bow like we did in the beginning. So this is a review. 12 inches, pinch, fold it in half. Oh, sorry, gets so wrinkled. Fix it up. And measure another 12 inches. Pinch it. Fold in half. And tie it together with a floral wire.
And now we are going to attach it in between these two towards the bottom center of our tree. Just twist tie it right there to the pine branch. Okay, and now let's run it down, tack it in the tree, pinch it and twist tie it in there. Loosen it up and cut it. There's no room for a second run. But how easy is this, guys? We got the front of the tree done and all we have to do now is repeat it on the other sides of the tree. Easy as that. And I prepared the next one. Just one loop, one tail. And we're going to attach it now on the other side of the tree. Right there is my first roller coaster. So right there, halfway across from it, I'm going to tie it down. And if you are wondering why I keep looking back, it's because I'm watching a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Who else likes to do that? Watch those Christmas romantic movies when you DIY or decorate. Okay, so I'm pinching and tying it down, loosen it up, and we are going to run one more. You can move it slightly to the side, pinch it, and tuck it in the tree. And yes, you got it, cut it down. So as you can see, this is all repetitive, very easy ribbon technique. Please give me those little roller coaster emojis if you like it. All right, and here we have the second row ending. Uh, looks like we have only about 24 inches left here, so I'm going to finish off the edges. And now we are going to just fold it in half and make a five inch loop, pinch it and tie it with a floral wire. Flip up those tails and we're gonna have a cute little accent ribbon just like that. And we have a perfect spot for it right here between these two roller coasters. We are just going to attach it at the bottom right there. So just to show you, you have different options. You can do a regular bow, you can do one loop bow, you can do a double roller coaster single, or just a little ribbon accents like that. No ribbon is being wasted here. So we got a second side of the tree done and we are going to move to the third side right there. And you know all the tricks now, so this is just a quick review for you. Okay, so we made a single dip roller coaster right there on the side. And here's the empty space where we're gonna make a double bow, just like that. And we are going to attach it right there in between and run one more dip. Okay, here's the third side of the tree, all done. Let's take a look because we have a little bit of ribbon left over. Let's see, can we add some ribbon somewhere here? Here is the fourth side that's against the wall. I think we can add something right there at the bottom. One loop bow.
and it looks like we have enough ribbon for a double dip roller coaster. Look at that. And remember that tiny accent ribbon from the first row left over? I think we can tuck it in there. Okay, we are all done. We used up 45 feet of ribbon on a seven and a half foot of tree. And here's the look at the tree all around. Feel free to take screenshots. It could be really helpful, especially if you've never done it. And don't be scared, don't be intimidated. You can do it. Just follow my easy step-by-step -step directions and I know you will be happy with the result. And here's the look at my tree fully decorated. Feel free to tune in tomorrow to see all my tips and tricks how I decorate a tree like a designer. Take care my besties. Have a happy holidays and talk to you soon. Bye bye.